Video games. One of the largest industries in the world today. But how did it all start? Well, many different people believe different things, and it all really depends on your perception of what is actually considered a video game. Welcome to the fabulous 50s. At this time, the US was in an economic boom, and Japan still doesn't know what a video game is. NASA got its start here, and the Soviets launched Sputnik 1. The transistor finally came around in 56 with widespread use in computers, which were becoming increasingly more popular. So, hey, I'm Pilot72, and this is the gaming years, 1952. Last time we looked at 1951, and previously we looked at 1947. This time we're moving five years ahead to 1952. Back in 52, a computer called EDSAC could run a computer program called OXO, which is literally just an early electronic version of tic-tac-toe. Yeah, I'm talking about one of those gigantic computers that took up almost a whole room, and it was being used to simulate a game normally played with a piece of scrap paper and a pen or pencil. Yet, OXO is notable as the first ever game to use a graphical display. OXO was written by Alexander S. Douglas as an illustration for his PhD thesis on human-computer interaction for the University of Cambridge. The game was played by using a rotary telephone dial as a controller. If you're really young, a rotary dial is one of these things. Yeah, old. In OXO, the player versed the computer and the game was displayed on EDSAC's 35 by 16 dot matrix cathode ray tube. Unfortunately, OXO did not have widespread popularity, since the EDSAC was a computer unique to Cambridge. By the way, EDSAC is an acronym for Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Calculator. So yeah, they were playing tic-tac-toe on a computer meant to do math equations. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching The Gaming Years 1952. Check back soon for the next episode, where we'll round out the 1950s. I'm Pilot72, and I'll see you next time.